Lip Smack and Campin' is brought to you by MSR Stoves and Cookware, makers of the legendary Whisper Light Stove and the award-winning Reactor Stove System. MSR has been fueling outdoor adventure for over 40 years. Hi, my name is Christine. And I'm Tim Connors. Welcome to Lip Smack and Campin'. In this episode, we're gonna teach you how to make jamon jambalaya. We're gonna begin with the andouille sausage, nice spicy sausage. And we're gonna cut it into very small pieces. When you're going to dry anything, you really don't want big pieces at all because that means you're gonna end up with things that aren't fully dry, and that's not a good thing. The recipe calls for about three ounces. This is a little more than that. It really, as far as when it gets dried, it doesn't really matter that much. You may end up adding a little more water when you get on the trail, but it shouldn't affect the recipe at all. And I'm gonna put it into the Flex 4 pot. This is the smaller of the two pots that comes with the set. Then I'm gonna add the chicken with the juice and a can of little baby shrimp. We're gonna cut one bell pepper. Okay, again, these, this is a step that would be done at home. I haven't mentioned that already. The remainder of our poor onion. You don't need to help. I won't. Let, let me do everything. Okay. Just one, one stalk of celery. That's one. all. And again, I'm chopping finely because I want it to dry quickly and rehydrate quickly. One tablespoon of Worcestershire. So we added one can of tomato sauce. That was an eight ounce, correct? Yes. And one teaspoon and of one Cajun, teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. seasoning. We're cooking outside because it's prettier We're out here. We're preparing our food. But you will be preparing yours at home inside okay. the comfort of your home. Okay, so this jambalaya recipe makes three servings, and we're going to divide those servings up into three individual trays of approximately one cup each or so. And this is never an exact science, so we just kind of divide it up and we'll get the other trays going here as well. Again, you are looking to keep things as small as possible. So if you have any big chunks left in your chicken or anywhere, you want to you want to get those smashed and thinned out, and you want to get your uh, jambalaya also as spread out as possible. Again, so it's sort of thin. Okay, Tim, you want to take it to the dryer? Sure. It's ready. It looks, it looks, yeah. Well, it looks like dried jambalaya. Okay, so this is one serving of jambalaya and we're going to basically take it apart and carefully put it into our quart freezer bag. And again, breaking it up as much as possible will help with it rehydrating. And this is really nice and crumbly, so that tells me it's gonna rehydrate very nicely. And I'm going to pour it into my bag, which I can label before or I can label after, but it's important to label. And to this recipe, we're also going to add one half cup of rice, dried rice, instant rice. Okay, now we're seal it, get the air out. And again, we want to label it, jambalaya. And we also want to remind ourselves how much water it's going to take on the trail. And that is two cups per serving. And so you will have three of those. And this is representing now one of the three servings that you're going to bring on the trail. Okay, we're going to add it to our water. And let it start coming absorb. I'm bringing the flame down just a little bit and allowing it to simmer for 15 minutes. It looks like nothing's going to happen. It looks like we might have soup, but you got to give these things time. They do, they do reabsorb that water. 
Mmm. This is so good, it should be illegal. Legalize it. <laughs> so that's how we make jam and jambalaya, a recipe that comes to us from the revised version of Lip Smack and Backpacking. We appreciate you joining us today for an episode of Lip Smack and Camping, and we hope you'll join us for more. For hundreds of mouthwatering camp recipes and invaluable information for making your next camp trip memorable for all the right reasons, check out Tim and Christine Connor's best-selling series of books. For more information or to purchase books, visit lipsmackandcampin.com.